Back when I first converted the uh, mini mill to CNC, I had uh, bought some little miniature limit switches to put on it as homing switches, and I had them wired up and uh, connected to the uh, controller, but never did mount them because I couldn't figure out a decent way to mount them. But now that I've got the Z-axis rebuilt, I've decided to go ahead and uh, put the homing switches on the uh, mill. But instead of using these little miniature ones, I'm going to use this type here, which is the same ones that I used on the CNC router. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, unsolder these off the old wires off the old limit switches and wire up the new ones, and then we'll be mounting them onto the uh, mill. I think it'll be easier to just cut these wires off. I couldn't remember on these uh, small limit switches which, uh, whether it was connected to the normally open or normally closed, but after looking at it closely under a magnifying glass, and now that I've seen it, I can see it without it. This is the common. The center one is normally open, and the one on the end is normally closed, and the wires were connected to the end, so we were a normally closed position. So that's the way we'll hook it up on the new limit switches, which will be common here, normally closed over here. I'm going to label these so I don't get them mixed up which one is which. I kept them se separated and the switch with the wiring when I cut them loose. So this is the x-axis, so I'm going to mark it on the red side here where I can see it. We're going to use some shrink tubing on here also. Might better cut these shrink tubings a little shorter or the heat from the soldering might melt it before I'm ready for it. All right, one down, two more to go. Well, this is the last one, so. Now that all the limit switches are wired up, we can start mounting them. We'll start with the Z-axis. It's going to mount right here on the top plate where the, on the retrofit for the uh, Z-axis rebuild, the top plate that holds the stepper motor. It's going to bolt into the side of that with two screws. And then right here, in the plate that holds the ball screw nut in order to catch the arm of the limit switch I just made a little piece of uh, aluminum with a hole in it to screw into uh, the end of that aluminum piece
make sure I get the right one, z-axis. I'm almost out of cord. <coughs> I've got little spacers I made to put behind it to shim it out a little bit. If I can get it started in a hole. It's kind of awkward without blocking the camera. Well, there's one mounted. Now for the y-axis, I've got a little, another little tiny little block of aluminum that's going to screw into the end of the y-axis. Um, I guess you call it the dovetail part where the give goes. I drilled a tap to hole there for this. I think it's a 632 screw. Now to mount the limit switch for the y-axis, I made a little bracket out of a piece of aluminum angle, eighth inch aluminum angle. I think it's uh, one inch by one inch maybe. Inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. And the limit switch will screw to the outside and then this will screw to the front of the uh, casting of the base of the mill. And it will be facing this way. Now the last one is the x-axis, it's going to bolt to this little piece of plate here, it's an aluminum plate, eighth inch thick, cut out in an L shape, two tapped holes here for the 440 screws to hold the limit switch on, and then two 632 screws will go into the back of the y-axis dovetail which you'll see here in a minute so let me mount this to the plate here first now there's two tapped holes back here that I tapped for this bracket for the 632 screws. Okay, I got one screw started. Screwdriver's too long.
Okay, we got all three limit switches mounted. You can hear that click. Now the Y axis. Just heard it click. Now the X axis, the limit switch arm is going to hit the inside of the end plate here. There, I heard it click. Now that all the limit switches are mounted and working, let's uh, click reference all home on Mach 3. That zeroed out the uh, coordinates on the machine coordinates. So now if we uh, move everything off the home switches and turn soft limits on, the soft limits will prevent us from going too far back or forward. I don't remember what setting I have in Mach 3 for the home limits uh, for the Z-axis, but we'll see how far down it goes. Set right there, I need to raise that home limits up a little bit in the Z, uh, the homing section of Mach 3. But everything's working good. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.